Welcome to FTW Explains, a guide to catching up on and better understanding stuff going on in the world. You may have heard about some North American concert tours, particularly Ed Sheeran, having an effect on the NFL's 2018 schedule, which was released on Thursday. What's the deal with that? We're here to help. Ed who? Ed Sheeran is a British singer-slash-writer who has written a bunch of big hits like Thinking Out Loud and Shape of You. He was involved in NFL scheduling? Well, sorta. Of. Sheeran's 2018 North American tour includes a bunch of stops at NFL stadiums and arenas on Saturdays this fall. And because of that, NFL teams with Sheeran in town the day before a game can't play at home on those Sundays. How many stops are we talking about here? Outside of NFL scheduling Mavens Howard Katz and Michael North, here is the man that might have most influenced the NFL schedule, picked out twitter.com slash xshoe9mfb80, Adam Schefter, at Adam Schefter, April 20, 2018 um wow. But why can't you play the day after an Ed Sheeran concert? Maybe, because the field will be affected by a bunch of people dancing slash drinking slash moshing, getting on that last one, on it? Or maybe because there isn't enough time to get the stadium, ready for a game hours after a concert? This is really a thing eh? Just ask Detroit Lions President Ron Wood, via the Detroit Free Press, we had a lot, of concerts scheduled this year, so we had a few blackout dates, Wood said. I didn't learn until talking to, NFL scheduling guru Howard Katz, I think Ed Sheeran is, in like half of the NFL stadiums this fall so every team had asked for a blackout for Ed Sheeran. I think they actually went to the tour and said, you can't do every Saturday night in the fall. So some of those actually got moved. Are there any other artists who had an effect on the schedule? Yes. From, ESPN, tour stops by pop stars Ed Sheeran, 8, Taylor Swift, 3, and Beyonce slash Jay-Z, 2, all pushed out NFL